This is the most useful feature of Tesla Full Self Driving currently available in Europe. To use Tesla Auto Park, you'll need at least enhanced autopilot or full self driving. But is it worth the steep price of these packages? And more importantly, can it handle real European parking spots famous for being incredibly tight? Sit back and relax because you're about to find out. Once Auto Park is enabled in the car settings, all you need to do is pull up to your chosen parking spot. The Tesla will automatically detect and highlight it on the 3D map, and then you just tap the screen to select and confirm your choice. Auto Park always parks in reverse, but you can start from any position. It will adjust itself, activate the correct turn signal, and show its trajectory on the screen from a bird's eye view while parking entirely on its own. The system is fully aware of its surroundings and is designed to avoid hitting people, animals, or other obstacles. But as with any self-driving feature, you must always stay alert and be ready to take over if needed. You can see right now that Tesla Auto Park can handle parallel parking with no problem, but this spot isn't even the tightest one we tried in this video. So make sure to watch until the end for our most extreme attempts. Every time you see Auto Park in action, it's clear that it's not the fastest yet, but it's definitely smooth and precise. Even though it's on the slower side, I wouldn't say it's a waste of time, especially for less experienced drivers. We're starting with a few showcases of casual parallel parking, but later in the video we will attempt to park in an extremely busy parking lot before Christmas, under a tree and even next to a thick bush, and we will even show you how to park as a BMW driver. We're testing this software in Kolin, Czech Republic, and right now the car is parallel parking like a total champ on this small street lined with other cars. That's all it needs to detect and use a parking spot. Notice there are no lane markings or lines on the asphalt to show individual spaces, just other cars, the curb, and actual live traffic passing around us. Even in this scenario, Auto Park works perfectly, and even makes these small micro adjustments at the end here to get the car and the wheels lined up just right. Now let's get busy. This is an amazing stress test for Auto Park because there's just so much going around, people with shopping carts, loading their cars, and this is the situation I was talking about. A shopping center just before Christmas that we're trying to use Auto Park in. Like I said, it's uh, aware of all of its surroundings and no one around us has an idea at least if they're not watching the driver, not touching the steering wheel, that a robot is driving this car, ladies and gentlemen. And into this line of tightly packed cars, sure, it's not parallel driving, so it's a little bit easier, but handled perfectly nonetheless. This was one of our most smooth parking jobs. Now let's try parking in a purely residential area. Again, no markings on the asphalt, Tesla still sees the parking spot, but I'm going to spoil it for you, we're about to see our first failure. And I suspect the car failed because of some irregularities on the road. Maybe it was too afraid of this dark spot that resembles a branch you can see on the screen right now. Maybe because of the grassy lawn right next to us, uh, I'm not sure. However, in a moment, you're about to see, sometimes all it takes is just a second try. First up, however, <laughs> look at this parking spot that Tesla visualized for us. It's a perfect BMW style parking, but sadly, the auto park function failed again. We're not surrendering, we're, tr we're trying it for a second time, and this time Auto Park proceeds for a little longer. It tries its hardest to utilize this perfect parking spot, and uh, we're just so amused trying this software on public roads. If you liked this video so far, be sure to press the like button, and if you do not park like a BMW driver, you can also subscribe and enter our club before we hit 1000 subscribers. As you can see, sadly, the car failed again, and we at least attempt to show you how you should properly park as a human pilot without even utilizing Tesla's full self-driving capabilities. This, ladies and gentlemen, is the perfect driving. Um, I think that if you're driving a BMW, you're about to dislike this video right now. <laughs> you're 
free to do it or let us know in the comments. But let me show you our second attempt at that previous parking spot that we failed at because of that dark spot resembling a branch or the grassy field, whatever it was, autopilot is not afraid this time and is backing up perfectly right beside this Škoda. Škoda also makes electric cars, but uh, most Czech people who buy electric cars buy Teslas regardless even though it's really our love brand. In this next clip we found a really interesting obscure spot again that is far from ideal but Tesla highlighted it and so we wanted to try it. It's really really close to a crosswalk from one side and to a car from the other side, the front. You can see the crosswalk perfectly visualized on the screen as live traffic is starting to pile up behind us. Other cars want to overtake us, they have very little space but Tesla is continuing to park, perfectly visualizing other cars on the screen using its occupancy network, showing occupied pixels and unoccupied space correctly and it's utilizing this end-to-end -end approach to judge the space around the car and the parking is finished but far from ideal like I said. We're continuing on the same street and here we found a pretty spacious parallel parking spot once again showcasing the amazing ability of Tesla's vision only auto park system. Yes, the new auto park only utilizes the cameras, eight cameras around the car and it doesn't use the ultrasonic sensors anymore. So even though it can park really tightly in between other cars, it doesn't really know, at least on newer cars that don't even have those hardware ultrasonic sensors, how close it is to those other cars precisely. And for using only ordinary cameras, this is just proof of exceptional ability and intelligence. In this next clip we chose a similar parking spot on the very same street but the situation is gonna get much more intense as a guy behind us loses his patience and wants to overtake us in the middle of parking. Pay close attention to the 2D visualizations rendered by the occupancy network. As the car starts backing up this guy wants to overtake us and nearly crashes into us. This would probably have been fine even without intervention but as with any self-driving in Tesla you can always always disengage by pressing the brake or turning the steering wheel yourself. Our driver disengaged just to be sure not to back up into this nervous guy overtaking us and we finished this parking job in two different sessions. First disengaging and then re-engaging auto park again by a simple press of a button. Just look at how Tesla visualizes these two girls behind each other on a scooter. <laughs> Just like a one pedestrian sliding on the ground. Okay, let's park. This parking spot may not look as challenging as those we tried before, except there is a thick bush right next to when we want to park our car. So let's see how Tesla handles that. Theoretically, the occupancy network should process everything the cameras see and project it into a 3D space that the car kind of makes inside of its brain. The AI computer that's doing the inference and therefore driving. Not only in auto park but also in Tesla FSD. We back up successfully, avoid the bush and the car behind us and park in a really nice manner, just like a human would. The whole movement was quick, efficient and really really smooth. See the tree on the left? Yes, we're going to attempt to park right under it. And in this example, I find it really interesting how far Tesla can go to maneuver itself into position once you press the auto park button. Pay attention to how it kind of figures out what it must do and then it gets really close to this curb in front of it before backing up in a huge, huge arc into that parking spot. Now, the circumference still isn't quite enough so the Tesla is going to shift into going forward again just for a little bit before backing up and this was really really precise and efficient movement from the car and no other automaker could automatically park in this exact spot from the exact same position only Tesla. We found another really really tight spot and 
make it even worse, Tesla placed the initial parking position, like the slot, very, very close to the car on our right. So in this example, you're going to see if Tesla can dynamically switch or push the place of its parking spot around and you can see that it did and now it's too close to the left car and Tesla gets scared and aborts the parking job. We know already that sometimes all it takes is a second try, so we go forward a little bit to give it another chance before selecting the parking spot again and pressing park. Now the car is maybe in a little bit of a better position, it knows what to do, doesn't get scared anymore and places the parking spot precisely and precisely in the middle of the available space right next to those cars. It shifts around a little bit here and there, but parks really, really precisely and efficiently. It has to go a little bit forward again, where it has to control for these oncoming cars entering the parking lot, and then it backs up perfectly, just sticking out a little bit. Now here comes the grande finale, a really small street full of cars. From left, from the right, everything is super tight and Tesla Auto Park has to show its greatest capabilities here. And it does so without even flinching. Carefully, carefully backing up, making sure that it's not hitting any of these cars and getting into this really, really tight spot, which is not even one and a half times as big or long as our car. There's also a pedestrian on the curb walking alongside us that the Tesla also takes into account, although the lady didn't really jump in front of the car or anything, but it backs up perfectly and this was an amazing amazing parking job just you wait it's going to get even crazier and even tighter in just a minute what you're about to see is i think our best example of tesla's full self-driving capabilities in europe to date this is a super tight spot but the biggest obstacle of all is the car to our right which we have to be super careful about not to back into it. With our wheels turned to the left and starting to back up, the driver gets scared that the Tesla is not going to make it. But it turns out that he panicked for no reason and the car would have been just fine, as you're about to see in our second attempt at this parking. So this was manually aborted. The Tesla didn't find itself in trouble, but we were too afraid. In this second attempt, you can see how extremely close the car gets before making it straight again and carefully backing up into this extremely, extremely tight space. This was our record longest parking job ever and for a good reason. This is not an easy job even for a skilled human. Someone is again driving right past us, overtaking us in this super tight street and autopilot Tesla Auto Park is trying to get the parking job done in the best way possible, readjusting itself multiple times, going forward and backward and forward again, taking into account not only the vehicles around it, but also the curb and is straightening itself out and taking the car as close to the curb as possible while still remaining safe. Beautiful, beautiful job. And for this last final attempt, I have actually exited the car with our second camera and am going to try to show you exactly how close the Tesla gets before straightening its wheels, getting out of the way at the exact perfect moment and then again backing into this really, really tight parking spot. If you appreciate this dual camera view, you can always like the video or let us know in the comments what would you like to see next or how we should improve our videos. One thing is certain though, Tesla Auto Park is already really, really capable and I can't wait what it will do when it's fully integrated into full self-driving. That should come into Europe really, really soon. We have the first news about FSD regulations in Switzerland, where we should start seeing full self-driving systems in March 2025. Hopefully other countries will follow soon, but even though it hasn't technically been released in the EU yet, we've already gotten our first glimpses of full self-driving that you can check out right now by clicking this video in the middle of your screen.